everyone i'm back with another video so today we're doing my victoria's secret favorite sugary fragrances and there's a few here that i actually love more than the rest in my collection as far as very sweet fragrances you know i do have so the first one here that I want to mention is Tease. This is my signature Victoria's Secret fragrance. I already went through, I think, one bottle of this already. This is my backup, and I do want to get the new packaging to this. But to me, this smells like the more sophisticated, mature version of Pink Chiffon. This to me smells like a high-end perfume of pink chiffon. Um, it's very good, it's very sweet. It smells like cotton candy. Um, it's a very floral, sweet floral fragrance. I don't know the keynotes to these because I really don't get any lotions from Victoria's Secret. I like their body butters more, but to me it just smells like the more sophisticated version of Pink Chiffon and I really love that one and that will always be a repurchase and it will stay in my permanent collection, will be a permanent fragrance in my collection I should say. Next is Blushing Berry Magnolia. This one is White Strawberry Creamy Magnolia. This one, this one was my favorite at first from this line until until Melissa <laughs> introduced me to the pear and jasmine um in this collection and that one i think i like just a little bit more but this one to me is more sweet like candy it it reminds me of i want to say like an artificial strawberry now i don't mind those scents. I like anything strawberry, but this one is very youthful and um, this one is one that I would wear if I was going out. It's not offensive, and but the scent fades very quickly. It does not last long at all, which I don't mind because if I'm out in public, I don't want to have fragrances that are very loud, very strong. Um, so this would be perfect for, you know. To wear out, but it is very sweet. It smells like candy and it's very useful and it like i said it has an artificial strawberry scent but i don't mind i like anything strawberry so that one is good if you like sweet and sugary scents next is cake confetti and this one is vanilla cream marshmallow sprinkles and i love anything with vanilla and marshmallow <laughs> but this one this one just smells like it just smells like cake like it just it smells like cake it's very good um i wouldn't necessarily wear this all the time because it is very sickeningly sweet and I know I would get very tired of it very quickly and 
I wouldn't want to burn myself out on bakery gourmand scents because the holidays are coming up and I want to stock up on those type of fragrances. Um, but these are from 2019, so it's only two years old, but when I am ready to use these up, I think I'm going to reach for cake confetti first because it is very, very good. And I am using one um, up now from pink that smells kind of similar to that. So yeah, it kind of reminds me of the one that I'm using from pink. Next is the Vanilla Remix. And this one is Black Vanilla Amber Sparkles. And this one, to me, this one to me just smells like, you get more of like a warm musky vanilla in the dry down, but when you first spray it, it smells like candy. It's, it smells like vanilla with sugar. I, that's what I'm picking up. Vanilla and sugar. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not picking up any, I'm not picking up any amber I don't know I don't smell the amber I just smell vanilla and sugar with this one it's very very sweet um, I did get rid of my amber romance but that was because it was very strong and it gave me a slight headache when I did use it but this one does not I just smell vanilla and sugar, so I decided to keep this one instead. But this one is very good. It It's a very sweet, sugary fragrance, and it's very good. Um, these would be perfect to use around, like, Christmas time, or even around, ha you know, Halloween, you know, candy season. <laughs> I would like to to wear those type of fragrances. Next is Sugar High, and this is Nectar Pop Rock Candy, and this one is, this is just straight sugar. <laughs> like, it's just straight sugar. It reminds me of, like, you know the rock candies that fizz in, in your mouth when you, um, it's just, tons of sugar. I didn't necessarily care for it at all, um, but it smells like the pop rock candy um, that you get in the um, little pouches and the rock candy on the stick. I, I didn't care for that either. I did not like it. It was just, it was too much. But it reminds me of it. And it smells like it. It's very good. But it's very, very sweet. Very sweet. All I smell is sugar. Just straight sugar <laughs> with this one. Um, but it's good. Next is Peach Squeeze. And this is Pink Peach Lush Passion Fruit. And to me, this one just smells like To me, this just smells like sweet peach tea. Like this is a definition of a peach tea type of drink. Uh, maybe the passion fruit is what's giving it that sugary um, scent, but it's very, very sweet. Um, it smells just like a peach drink. To me, it smells like peach tea. Um, with extra extra sugar in it <laughs> it's very good um i've been loving 
the Pretty as a Peach lately. I'm almost through with my mist. I'm like this much through. I've been loving it. But I have other peach fragrances that I love just a little bit more and I just need a break from it. Um, but when I am ready to use um, this up, this is going to be like, I'm going to get through this so quickly because it's such a great peach scent and it's very sweet and I absolutely love it. Next is Bare Vanilla. Now I was going between the um, Love Spell and Bare Vanilla and I love vanilla way more than the cherry and the peach. That one seems to be a little too much and that is the definition of just sweet but with a hint of with a pinch of headache attached to it and that's what it does to me so I decided to go with the Bare Vanilla as my favorite sweet scent um, I love Bare Vanilla I know this one gets a lot of um, there's a lot of opinions on Bare Vanilla either you love it or you don't I so happen to be one that actually really love Bare Vanilla in all forms, um, but this one in particular is, you know, my favorite because of the ripped vanilla and the soft cashmere. I love the scent of cashmere, and the vanilla just gives it that warm, it's a warm musky scent. It doesn't last long. Nothing in this line in the permanent collection lasts except Love Spell. It tends to linger just a little bit longer than the rest and I wish it didn't because it's not my favorite. I do like it from time to time but it's definitely not one that I would reach for. Um, Bare Vanilla would be one that I would reach for more um, out of everything in that line because it's just so good and I absolutely love vanilla <laughs> and last is love spell la creme and this is peach blossom cashmere woods there goes that cashmere scent I love anything with cashmere and peach blossom this one kind of smells like it kind of smells like the more mature version of love spell and this one I love more and I'm not sure if anybody else picked up that keynote but to me it's most like love spell but the more mature sophisticated version of love spell and I love this one more than that one this one is very sweet but a little warm um, I think I would wear this one at night before I go to bed. Yeah, I would wear this one at night before I go to bed because it's very, it's very calming, and I think. And I love it. I love anything with cashmere and the peach blossom just gives it that special sweetness. I, I love it. I love it. I've been loving peach lately and I know I added a few. <laughs> peach fragrances but I've been loving it lately since I've been trying to use up my um, pretty as a peach because I've had it for a while and um, I would love to get um, the new packaging you know later on but um, yeah that's my favorites from Victoria's Secret and I absolutely love all these fragrances. You should definitely check them out and give me your thoughts or give me your opinions. What's your favorite sugary fragrances from Victoria's Secret or from Bath and Body Works? Um, but that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.